This video is brought to you by QCY. So right after I scored and ranked 10 of the best earbuds under 50 US dollars, QCY released the Mellow Buds Pro, retailing just under $50. So they're gonna be joining the ranking in a total of 10 categories. And they're kind of going up against themselves because the QCY Mellow Buds finished tied first with 83 points out of 100. So the Mellow Buds Pro only have to improve on a few things to easily take the first spot. But this scoring doesn't really matter if certain categories matter more to you. That's why I created a custom scoring spreadsheet. Free to download, link below. Because the Mellow Buds Pro now pretty much every category, but they do fall short in one crucial area. But let's start with category one, comfort. This is always a tricky category to score because all our ears are different. So I keep the scoring pretty general here. But the Mellow Buds Pro get a score of nine out of 10. You get three sizes of ear tips included. And these are slightly more compact and ergonomic compared to the old Mellow Buds. It's very subtle, but I just get a slightly lighter feel in the ear canal, so they should work better if you have slightly smaller ears. And I think they have a nicer look than the Mellow Buds. You can get them in gold, black, or the white version, which I have here. Now, category two is the security of the fit. And the Mellow Buds Pro get a score of eight, as do most of the earbuds. These are a pair that I can wear when weight training and they stay in fine. Most buds just seem to stay in my ears fine. I guess I have good ear genetics. They also work great when running, as do most stem earbuds, with that weight distribution of the stem holding the bud down in your ear canal. And they work better than most buds when running because the actual transparency microphone is on the back of the earbud, which allows you to hear your surroundings, which you probably want to do when you are running. And because of this, they don't pick up too much wind with that placement of the mic on the back of the earbud. The mellow buds also work like this, where the rest of the earbuds on this ranking do pick up quite a bit of wind noise. The Basus MA10 has a score of nine because they do include a wingtip option, which gives you slightly better security. Now, when it comes to dust and water resistance, you get an IPX5 rating. So that's just basic water resistance, fine for sweat, splashes water, and use in the rain should be fine. Now, category three is case and battery life. Main considerations here are earbud battery, total battery, case size, and wireless charging. So you're getting an impressive seven and a half hours on the earbuds, 30 hours in total with the case, and that's with noise canceling on. With noise canceling off, you only get slightly more. But you do get fast charge here, so chuck the buds in the case for 10 minutes. That's gonna give you one hour's playback on the earbuds. You still don't get wireless charging here, which at this price is fair enough, but the case is more compact now compared to the Mellow Buds. It's still not the thinnest case on my ranking, but it's definitely the smallest overall in size. So solid stuff here, they're getting a score of 8.5 out of 10. Now category four is controls. So you get the exact same touch controls as the Mellow Buds. Single, double, triple tap, and long hold. You can customize each function and add in whatever control you like, including volume up and down. Only the long hold on the left earbud, which is locked to game mode, and the right earbud locked to noise canceling modes. It would have been nice to be able to customize the long hold. I personally prefer having that as my volume up and down toggle. Sadly, you get no ambient switching options, so you're stuck having to cycle between noise cancelling on, noise cancelling off, and transparency mode when using the touch controls. Where some earbuds do give you the option to choose, let's just say noise cancelling and transparency only, to save you a bit of time. But you do get wearing detection now, which will automatically pause and play your music when you take one or both earbuds out of your ear. And it's super responsive in my testing. You can chuck the buds down on the desk anyway, and it's not going to activate. Where a lot of budget earbuds with wearing detection will do this. And if you have noise cancelling on, you take one earbud out, the bud that's still in your ear, noise cancelling will turn off, so you don't have noise cancelling just on in one ear, which sounds a little bit strange. And you can actually customize this feature and a lot of other options there with the wearing detection in the app. So they're getting a nine out of 10 here overall, solid stuff for you controls. Now, category five is connectivity. So you're getting Bluetooth 5.3, SBC, AAC, and LDAC high res On an Android device, you're gonna get a slight improvement in your sound quality. Just keep in mind your connection won't be as strong with LDAC on, and you can't use multi-point connection, which is also a new feature. So you can connect two devices to the earbuds at the same time. You just need to pause playback on one device before you play it on the other device. You can also use either earbud while you leave the other in the case. And when you are using one earbud, it's gonna work in mono mode. So you hear both the left and right audio channel out of that one earbud. And you also get a low latency gaming mode as do most of the earbuds. If you wanna see all these small details with all the earbuds, you can check the spreadsheet link below. But basically you get everything you need here. They're getting a solid 10 out of 10. Now category six is call quality. And I run through three tests here, a quiet room, some simulation crowd noise, and a simulation windy city with construction. The final score for each earbud is the average of all three tests rounded up to the nearest half. And the mic quality, at least in my test, was pretty much identical to the Mellow Buds, which is good because they were ranked one of the highest for call quality. You still can't mute your mic using the controls when you're on a phone call, but you can switch between noise cancelling on and off in transparency mode. Uh, surprisingly, a lot of the earbuds don't allow you to do this. But here are some mic samples compared to the Mellow Buds. 
All right, here's the call quality of the QCY Mellow Buds in a quiet room. All right, here's the call quality of the QCY Mellow Buds Pro in a quiet room. All right, now let's see how the microphones block out some simulation crowd noise. All right, here's the call quality of the QCY Mellow Buds with some simulation crowd noise. All right, here's the QCY Mellow Buds Pro with some simulation crowd noise. Now let's see how the microphones block out some city noise, construction noise, and some simulation wind. All right, here's a QC white mellow buds with some city noise, construction noise, and some simulation noise. All right, here's a QC white mellow buds pro with some city noise, construction noise, and wind noise. All right, category seven is app customization and extra features. And you can get the QCY app on iOS or Android. And you get tons of features for an eBud at this price. So I'll touch on everything and go into a bit more detail later. So the main page has your earbud battery. You get EQ presets, a 10 band EQ and spatial audio, which is a new feature here. You get multiple noise canceling modes, wind noise reduction. It can also adjust the strength of all those modes. Same with the transparency mode. You get some customization there. You get left and right audio balance. That settings tab will have your control customization that I ran through earlier. You get a find my buds option, which will emit a beeping sound from the earbuds, or you can also use location. You get some auto power off options, uh, beep customization, at least in my testing, it didn't change anything because the only time you hear a beep is when you take the earbuds in and out of your ear using the wearing detection. You also got your wearing detection customization, the low latency game mode toggle, and sleep mode will turn off the touch controls completely. So they get a score of nine out of 10. You get everything you need. Although the app isn't the smoothest, it can be slightly slow and buggy at times, but it still works. Now, category eight is noise canceling. And how I test my noise canceling, I chuck on my soundbar and I play simulation plane noise and crowd noise. So I get low, middle, high, consistent and inconsistent sounds. And here are the scores for all the earbuds with the plane noise test, crowd noise test, and the total score is the average rounded up to the nearest half point. And the Mellow Buds Pro is ever so slightly stronger than the Mellow Buds. So they have a score there of 9.5 out of 10. Now keep in mind this scoring is relative to earbuds in this price range, but I gotta say the budget noise canceling you're getting nowadays is incredibly strong. Like you have to be spending at least three times the amount of money to get noticeably stronger noise canceling. Now the white noise hiss here is very minimal, rated about a one out of five. And what's new here is the adaptive noise canceling mode. So that's gonna adjust your noise canceling strength based off the noise around you. And I did find that gave me the strongest noise canceling in all my tests. So it's probably best you just leave that on, but you do have some other options there if you don't want your noise canceling to be as strong. You get the same wind noise reduction mode. So that's gonna bring your noise canceling strength down by about 30 to 40%. But then this will completely stop the microphones from picking up wind. But like the transparency mode, the microphones don't pick up too much wind anyway. So probably no point to even use that. Now, when it comes to EQ shift, this is how your sound quality changes with noise canceling on compared to off compared to transparency mode. And it's quite minimal here, going from noise canceling on to noise canceling off or transparency, I only noticed about a 5% bass reduction. So a 5% change is completely fine. The only issue here is that you can't use noise cancelling or the transparency mode if you use one earbud while leaving the other in the case. And again, if you wanna check all this information for all the earbuds, it's in the spreadsheet. Now, category nine is the transparency mode. And with the scoring here, I'm taking into account the clarity, the amount of white noise hiss, and the amount of occlusion that you get. So here is all the scoring and all my notes for all the earbuds. So you can pause there for a longer look. So the total score for the Mellow Buds Pro is an 8.5 because the clarity of the transparency mode is a 9.5, but they have the most occlusion. So when you speak yourself, your own voice sounds kind of muffled. You kind of get an effect like your ears are blocked with an earbud, which they are. They also have a noticeable amount of white noise hiss, but the white noise can be reduced by bringing down the strength in the app to three. So your clarity gets brought down quite a bit, but so does the white noise noticeably. So now at the level of three, I'd say it's on par with the Mellow Buds transparency mode. So that's why they have the same score of 8.5. You also get a vocal mode, which will pretty much completely cut out the occlusion, but at the same time, it like doubles the white noise. So the white noise is very loud. You probably wouldn't want to have that on all the time. And of course, it'll allow you to hear voices a bit easier. Now I mentioned the placement of the microphone at the back of the earbud, which works great with the transparency mode. So it doesn't pick up wind very easily. The only issue here is that at least for my ear shape, the microphone kind of rubs on the back of my ear when I put the buds on and when I maybe adjust them or take them off my ear. So you kind of get an effect of like the microphone is rubbing on your skin. It sounds kind of unpleasant. I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker, but it's just a little bit of a downside of this mic position. It'll also happen with noise canceling on, but it's not as loud as the transparency mode. Now, category 10 is sound quality. And starting with my max volume test here, here are all the results I got for all the earbuds. 
So the Mellow Buds Pro are on the quieter side at 111.9 decibels. Noticeably quieter than the Mellow Buds, but still 111 decibels at max volume is incredibly loud. I usually say having at least 114 decibels is nice to have in case you're listening to a song or like a YouTube video with volume that's just mastered a bit lower, but you should be fine here. Ideally, you shouldn't be venturing above 85 decibels because that's when you're starting to get into hearing loss territory. Now, a new feature here for the Mellow Buds Pro is spatial audio. And if you follow my channel, you know I'm not a big fan of facial audio. Facial audio? If you follow my channel, you know I'm not a big fan of it. So it's here. It's not that great. It kind of like widens the sound slightly, but it does add that classic spatial audio kind of strange echo and reverb effect. The sound becomes quite soft and you just kind of lose impact. It doesn't sound very good. But now onto the sound quality itself. And this is actually the only letdown of these earbuds so far because the stock tuning is honestly nothing special. The bass is a bit bloated. The mids are quite recessed. The treble is boosted to a point where it gets a little bit sibilant with S's in vocals, but at the same time, the upper treble is very lacking. So with that interesting treble response, the sound is also quite closed in. It's not a bad tuning, so it's not amazing. I honestly wasn't expecting this because the QCY Mellow Buds sound great, and I gave them a score of eight out of 10 for sound quality. So QC, why'd you do that? But I haven't spoken about EQ customization yet. So you do get a 10 band EQ, but at the time of this video, it just doesn't work well right now. And I did reach out to QCY. They said that they're still optimizing the EQ to work with the earbuds, and it might not be out in time at the release of the earbuds, but they are gonna have a firmware update coming out down the track. So when that does come out, I'll try out the EQ. And if it is better, I might change the scoring. So I'll leave a pinned comment down below. And I really hope the EQ does work because I was playing around with the Wavelet EQ on Android and you can get these buds sounding very impressive. You can see how much upper treble boosting is needed here, some mid boosting and a slight bass reduction. So if I was to rank the buds going off my Wavelet EQ, I'd score them an eight out of 10. Pretty much on par with the Mellow Buds because on the old QCY Mellow Buds, that 10 band EQ customization did work well, but it doesn't work as well as an app like Wavelet. But wait, there's more. I filmed this video about two weeks ago and since then QCY has updated the app. So now the EQ customization does work quite well, just not as well as an app like Wavelet, which you don't really expect from most apps. So this is the EQ that I came up with and I think the buds sound much better with cleaner bass and mids. The app is still quite buggy. I had to reinstall the app and restart my phone for my EQ settings to save properly, but I got there in the end. Now I can't compare them directly to the old Mellow Buds or any of the other buds since I'm traveling at the moment, but I think it would be close enough to the old Mellow Buds, so I'm happy to score them an eight now for sound quality. But before we go into the final scores, this scoring doesn't mean too much if certain categories matter more to you. That's why I created the free custom scoring spreadsheet linked below. So on there, you get all the scores, notes for each score. You can compare all the specs easily and you get the core quality score for each test. And to customize the scoring, just fill out a number in the importance column and that'll multiply the entire category for all the buds. Zero to get rid of it, two to double it, 10 to 10 exit. You can do whatever you want in there. And after you fill that out, you'll get a new total score for all the earbuds. So now here are the final scores and the Mellow Buds Pro win by a landslide with 87 and a half out of 100. So that's a four and a half point improvement over the Mellow Buds, which are tied second. So now we have a pretty clear best overall budget earbud. But if you're thinking about spending maybe a little bit more, check out my top 10 earbuds under $100 video right here. A quick shout out to my channel members and everyone that supports me on my Kofi. Apparently it's Kofi, not Kofi. Thanks for tuning in. Stay picky. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.